Hello everybody, this video is going to talk about two really great gacha games, at least in my opinion, that have taken a significant portion of my time, that is Fire Emblem Heroes and Dragalia Lost. However, there might be a debate out there as to which of these games is better, Fire Emblem Heroes or Dragalia Lost. As you can see in the title, this video is going to explore the reasons why Dragalia Lost is the better game. Come at me, Fire Emblem Hero people! So to give a little bit of context, it's been about a month since Dragalia Lost came out, whereas Fire Emblem Heroes, it's approaching almost its second year. So in its first month since its release in both US and Japan, in terms of revenue, Fire Emblem Heroes beats out Dragalia Lost by a huge margin. As you can see, it's $48.2 million to just $23.5 million. But you shouldn't let that fool you into thinking that because of that, Fire Emblem Heroes by default is the better game. I think the biggest reason why Fire Emblem Heroes made so much more money was because of the familiarity of characters. So what do I mean by that? Well, with Fire Emblem Heroes, it's dealing with characters we all know and are familiar with and love, especially those who have played the Fire Emblem games of the franchise. Not only will you be able to play as the characters you love in this game, you will also get alternate versions of them, seasonal versions of them, legendary versions of them, pretty much the characters you love in different outfits. So I think that not many people are downloading or investing or getting into Dragalia Lost because there's absolutely no familiarity with these new characters. It's a completely new cast, it's a completely new game, and so there's so much unknown regarding it. However, because of this problem, Dragalia Lost does something that's great, and that's incorporate the backstories of these different characters in order to fill the gaps of unfamiliarity, if that's even a word. So yes, you can unlock stories of every character and every dragon. And best of all for reading them, the game gives you Wormite, which is the in-game currency to summon more heroes. That's like if someone, if a news article site, let's say, gives you like a dollar for reading their articles. Like that's amazing. I don't know if that analogy makes sense, but whatever. Like there's so much writing involved in these character stories and it's pretty good. And it also comes in different chapters. So the more chapters you read, the more you uncover about these different characters and just uh, who they are and their backgrounds and what kind of person they are. Not only that, there's voice acting involved in these character stories, at least for the main characters and the five star heroes. And a really great thing is you can pick either English or Japanese voice acting, which I don't understand why it's not an option in Fire Emblem Heroes. Unlike Fire Emblem Heroes, in the main campaign, there's voice acting involved in every line of dialogue as well. As I'm playing the Japanese version, I'm noticing that they're actually using some well-known Japanese voice actors for this game. For example, for the character Rickard, he's the same voice actor as the character Midoriya from Boku no Hero Academia. <laughs> So why am I talking about this? It just shows the absolute care the developers of Dragalia Lost are putting into this game and just the amount of resources that they're pouring out in order to make us more emotionally invested and to actually care about these characters. And speaking of audio, the soundtrack. The soundtrack! <laughs> Everything from the main menu, even to the summoning music. It's a big part because a lot of the soundtrack is a collaboration with Daoko, who is a very famous artist in Japan. You know the soundtrack is so catchy when even the characters in-game are jamming to it. Don't get me wrong, Fire Emblem has written dialogue as well as voice acting, but it's not as deep as Dragalia Lost. The most you get from Fire Emblem Heroes is a couple voice clips for every character. Okay! Ooh, hot! Yay! Drown already! So, what do you think? Pretty cool costume, right? And in terms of writing, you will get a couple of lines of dialogue from every character, but it's not well written sometimes, and it's not voice acted. From observing the writing in Fire Emblem Heroes, the overall impression I get from Intelligent Systems is they decided, hey, if the people want more writing, they could just play the Fire Emblem games or read their wiki page. They're just resting on their laurels on the success of the Fire Emblem franchise. And because of that, they didn't put as much effort, it seems like, into the writing of this game. In terms of gameplay, Dragalia Lost honestly seems to be providing a much more entertaining experience. Maybe it's the novelty that surrounds the game, considering the fact that it's been about a month, as I mentioned before, since the game came out. Maybe it'll get to a point where it becomes stale like Fire Emblem Heroes, which I'll discuss later. 
But right now, the fact that there's so much stuff to do, like there's so many different modes that you can play. There's the campaign, upgrading your characters and accessories, building up your castle, feeding dragons, boss raids. Variety is the spice of life for this game. Problem here is, is that there might be too many modes and too many things to do. And that isn't the worst problem to have. But the fact that if you want daily bonuses for the different modes, you have to play every mode every single day. And that alone can be very time consuming. And considering the fact that you have stamina, which is a limited resource, in order to play these different modes, it just becomes kind of annoying to have to play everything in order to get the different rewards. And now let's talk about Fire Emblem Heroes gameplay. Here's the thing. I'm gonna preface this. I love this game, but in terms of entertainment, right now, the state of Fire Emblem Heroes is at a huge plateau. Like this game has no idea where it's going and it's going nowhere fast. Like the developers of intelligence systems are sitting there in their office like, okay, so Fire Emblem Heroes, what can we do to make people keep playing this game? More chapters and paralogs. More armor units and waifus with sexy artwork. How about stop favoring armor units, fix the broken arena system, and put better peer-to-peer -peer interaction? <laughs> For Fire Emblem Heroes, yes, there is a lot of fun in anticipating what characters are going to come out in the upcoming summoning banners. And there is fun in once you get these characters, leveling them up and fine-tuning them. But once you get a good enough team, 90% of Fire Emblem Heroes, I'm gonna be real, is just hitting the auto battle button. Main campaign, auto battle. Training tower, auto battle. Rival domains and grand conquests, auto battle. Voting gauntlet, auto battle. Forging bonds, auto battle. Tap battle, button mash Faye and Kiron into oblivion because it doesn't matter what score you get. Really the only modes in this game that really require strategy. To make you say, now that's strategy. Our arena, where the gods are dragons and armors. And the infernal, abyssal, gates of Hades, Dante's infernal, six paths of pain, help me Phoenix Master 1 senpai mode special maps. Hey, you at least get a gold accessory. I'll admit, you could say the same thing for Dragalia Lost. It follows the same formula no matter what mode you play. It's kill enemies, kill bosses, get rewards. Pretty much bosses get money. However, even though this game uses the same formula almost for every mode, it doesn't feel as tedious. Why? Because of the ability to interact with other users. And this is where Dragalia Lost trumps Fire Emblem Heroes by far. Where Dragalia Lost sets itself apart from Fire Emblem Heroes is the fact that you can team up with any user to play pretty much any game mode, even the main campaign. Fire Emblem does try to do something like this for modes like Voting Gauntlet and Rival Domains where you can use your friend's heroes and put them in your team to fight against the enemy. But you are the one who's controlling your friend's heroes, not your friends. So you're just pretty much borrowing your friend's heroes in your team. I mentioned how for Dragalia Lost there's raid events in this game where you can team up with other players in order to beat a boss. Maybe there can be a mode where there's different maps, each having a difficult boss along with their minions across the map. And in these modes, you and a team of other people can band together and strategize together in real time on how you can defeat the enemy for these maps. So for example, if you're playing this game with a group of friends, when it's player phase, you move your hero, your friend moves their hero, and so on until all the players have moved, and then it becomes the enemy phase. In terms of communication between players real time, I mean, that's no problem. For Dragalia Lost, I use Discord. For this game, you could just use the same thing, whether it's Discord or Skype or Uvu. Does anyone use Uvu anymore? So there you have it. Those are just some reasons why you can argue Dragalia Lost is a superior game to Fire Emblem Heroes. Now, this video may feel like I'm favoring Dragalia Lost a little bit too much. Not so fast. I'll actually be making another video detailing aspects where Fire Emblem Heroes is better than Dragalia Lost. Because let's be real, Dragalia Lost isn't a perfect game either. And at the end of the video, I will give you my final verdict on which game I think is better. That does it for today. Please let me know in the comments below what game you think is better. And also, if there is a gotcha game out there that you guys highly recommend, feel free to post that as well. 
If you like this video, please subscribe to this channel and also feel free to check out the previous summoning videos that I've done for both games. I also occasionally stream these games on Twitch and you can check out that information in the description down below and you can check me out there. And so with that being said, see you guys next time.